Hello everyone, welcome to week four of semester two. The purpose of this weekly video is to give you a quick synopsis of what we'll be covering and the activities that we will be taking part in as we cover this material. First, let's start off by looking at our agenda and the lessons that we'll be covering. So the first will be history of the Caribbean. Then we have living in Mexico and Central America. Third, we have challenges facing Central America. And last, we have the current news activities that we do on a weekly basis. These are some of the big questions that we'll be exploring or the learning outcomes that we'll be addressing throughout this week. So the first is to explain the European colonization and slave trade and how that shaped the Caribbean. Um, list the forces that shaped the Caribbean since the era of colonization. Then we'll be moving towards, again, Mexico and Central America in terms of exploring regional maps and where people live. Are there any certain areas that they prefer and why? What are some human and physical characteristics of this region to, us, uh, to address as we bring this unit up to an end? And how has the region's diverse heritage affected its culture? So we'll be exploring that through some case studies and deep readings that we'll be incorporating throughout the last part of this unit. So as mentioned, when we're looking at the history of the Caribbean, we are going to be looking at the first Caribbean people who are categorized into two different groups, the Arawak and the Carib. So both of them used canoes for traveling among the islands and they were divided into villages ruled by chiefs. So we'll look at those two types of um, groups and the history that they carry in shaping the environment of the Caribbean islands and the culture of it too. Then we're going to be addressing the European colonization and the slave trade that was um, you know, incorporated into the Caribbean. We're gonna look at the forces that shaped the Caribbean since it was an era of colonization and identify reasons the, Car the Cuban revolution affected the Caribbean. Then when we move on to Mexico and the Central America, we're um, going to be looking at the biggest cities Mexico has, some dynamics and characteristics of them in terms of, look, in terms of shaping population density. So we'll be using the population density maps as well. This is an example here of a map that we'll be looking at for Northern and Central Mexico and kind of looking into the reasons why there's more, you know, people in a certain area or in a certain city. Then we're going to start wrapping up by looking at the challenges that are faced in Central America and Mexico, listing and discussing environmental, economic, and social challenges. So here you can even incorporate the news article um, for this region if you're interested in seeing how this relates to modern day Central America and Mexico. Then we will be taking part in a few other activities other than the current news. So let's take a look at what we have here. We have the interactive galleries, the interactive maps, a drag and drop. Um, again, we'll be looking over the model of ships um, since we do wanna be reviewing that. If anyone is interested into the architecture of these ancient civilizations of the time, um, a station activity, lesson checks, and current news that we're going to be taking part in. We'll also be focusing a lot on some writing in terms of how we think resources are, or the reason why resources are distributed in this region in a certain way, and who we believe should have access to them after exploring the characteristics and dynamics in Central America. That's basically it. More details will be given as we continue um, throughout the week. We may have some alterations in terms of the um, plan. So please keep an eye out on BC and definitely reach out to me in person or via email if you have any questions.